Okay, this is our first stop. We're going to get some black hand robes at level 1. There's a very hard lock we have to get through, but you can just take your time. We don't want to be detected. Okay, apparently here we're hidden. We're just going to go down here to our right. And there is our locked keg with a very hard lock. I'm going to save because I'm very hit and miss with the lock picking in this game. We like that. No picks broke. And just like that, not even five minutes in, black hand robes. Let's hear it. So I think the main goal is to blow up for this video is to get a setup for every type of playstyle. So if you want to do magic, combat, stealth, blade, blunt, bow, one-handed, two-handed, there's gonna be something for everyone. So we're here at our second stop, plundered mine. We're gonna get our heaviest hitting weapon at level one we're just going to run past these goblins they can't catch us and if they do hit us they're going to deal next to no damage because we are on normal difficulty for this video so you're going to turn right through this door just follow this right through to the next zone And when we go through here, we're going to be in the end of the cave. We're going to drop down past these tents, and on a wooden crate is our weapon of choice, Goblin Totem Staff. Level 1, staff with 20 shock damage. Easy. One more item to get while we're in the broom area. We're gonna make the weather not suck. I've become a bit OCD about that ever since Kabat. But we're gonna head over this way to be just south of Bruma. We wanna go into Toadstool Hollow, I think. And there we can get the best two-handed Warhammer at level one. There it is on the map, just south of Bruma, right next to the path. So you're gonna see an avalanche. Oh my goodness. That is the way out for us, but we're not gonna go there yet. We're going down here. There's a shitload of health, apparently. Silver Warhammer and a goblin that's drank himself to death. Why not? So we're just gonna simply run right through and get back out of here and then we're gonna fast travel to Anvil. So, we're moving over to Anvil, we're going to complete our mage setup. We're going to wait till morning because we want to join the Mages Guild. And we're going to get our mage robes, sweep the Mages Guild and sell some stuff so that we can buy the best battle axe and claymore at level 1. There's a place for you in the guild. Are you interested? Am I interested? We'll do a little sweep, but we're going to go right to the top. And to our right, we're going to find our matching robes and a bunch of potions and stuff we can take. And there you go, a whole three items, the mage setup. <laughs> Tell you what, if you're not satisfied, just wait till you put on this amulet. This really completes the look. Wait. Are you ready? That's nice. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little sweep. You can do this at every guild and make quite a bit of money, but we don't have that kind of time. We just want to sell some stuff so that we can go across the road and buy some and buy our silver weapons. Uh, 
a fine trip. And Daryl Morvey. Um, weapons. I have it all. You drive a bargain at any price. Goodbye. There's that. We've got some good heavy hitting weapons to start off with. We've got two more things we want to grab while we're in Anvil. One of which is going to help us get the next four items, but we'll just get these first and then we'll move on to that later. We're now going to get something for our feet because we're, our tingers are on show. It's not a good look. So we're just going to go in here. No questions asked. We're just going to go straight upstairs into this room on the left. And behind this door... Oh, there's boots of eel for me. There you go. Now we're a mage. Boots of the eel? I think so. However... Just doesn't want to see me have a nice day, How does it? Are you? Don't interrupt me. Now, we're gonna go to this little island. I imagine a lot of people have a good idea of what I'm going for, but this is gonna help us get the next four items. And there's also quite a convenient little method for getting it without struggling to find it. Cheeky no no. So we're on the island in question, and this rock is actually how we're going to find the helmet rafter. It's the only rock on the island, and if you just walk straight down in line with this rock... We are looking good. You know, this wasn't on the list, but we're gonna head along this shoreline and we're actually gonna go and get a, un not a unique battle axe, but for level one, it's definitely interesting. I can actually see the ruins in the distance there. There's two unique enemies to a DLC in here. And they carried a level bird version. <laughs> I mean, it's not as good as some of the weapons we have already, but it's got 300 charges. Granted, it's one damage, but I don't know. It's been added to the list, it's kind of cool. Our next stop is going to be Breville. We're going to be going into the Mages Guild, and we're actually going to be waiting for a guy called Fafis Aaron to turn up. And we're going to have to try and take a key from him. So, let's wait till midday. There's our man. We're going to save. We'll probably get caught a few times. Oh. Second try, we love it. Okay, we're gonna go into the castle now. Pickpocket the castle interior key from the count, and then we're on track for getting four very useful items. Now, what we want to do is equip Fin Gleam so that we don't drown. What we're going to do is go down this first bit and then left through this passageway. But before we do that, since we can't drown, I'm actually going to see if I'm we can't my... kill the boss that's down here. The giant slaughterfish. It always carries a random piece of magic enchanted armor, so I don't know, we might get lucky. I mean, we might also get murdered by that giant fish, but... Mm, let's see. Oh, no bother. Done. 
There you go. White armor vest. Wow! Easy. Okay, that was a fun little sidetrack. But we're going to get back to what we were doing. Four items are after. Go through this gate, we're going to go right. Turn left, ignoring that door in front of us. Up here and then left. You could ignore that door that was on the right, there's nothing in there but a conjurer. I'm gonna go through this gate, and I'm pretty sure there's a scamp in this room. Oh. Get your ass back here! No, Bobby. Oh, there was a scamp in this room as well. We don't want it to follow us because with the four items we're going to be getting, they're actually classed as stolen and a scamp will be a witness to that and get us kicked from the Mages Guild. In here is a Conjurer Adept. Kind of tough, but won't be impossible to beat. Kind of tough. Yeah, we're making light work of everything with this stuff. More enchanted robes and a matching set of Mages robes. Maybe. The aqua silk isn't for you. And you want this colour? Oh, I kinda like the aqua silk. Got the options there. Okay, so we're in the final zone, the four items we're actually after are here. Now, they're in that room there, but what we actually want to do is like I say, get rid of everything here. Because a scamp is gonna be a witness to our crime. And just like that, Apprentice Alchemy Set, level 1. And Silver Dagger. Best in slot dagger you can get. The boss chest is not looking healthy. I think that's pretty obscure. Now we're going to do something a little more known. Oh, it's night time, which is perfect. We're going to go right opposite this archway we've just come through. And in front of us is going to be the Tower Stone. Done. Warden key. And then we're going to head over to that ruin that's popped up on our map. And we're going to be getting our heavy armor set and one of the best swords in the game. A lot of people are going to be well aware of this, but I think it'd be rude not to include it in the video. No big secret, but again, it's almost got to be included. There's our heavy armor set and our brand new blade. So we're going to jump up onto this and then jump over onto here. And we've got our own little safe spot. And she might just run off and fight a mud crab. Does that? You're not going to come back, are you? Bye bye. <sighs> Well, you wait for Umbra to come back, and um, you can just get to it. <gasps> well, that's definitely the most efficient way to get the armour set, but it's absolutely not the most fun way to get the armour. We're just going to run over to the Imperial City and we're going to see if we can't get a little bit more for our money because we will, um, let's just say, recover the loot of the Fallen from the battle. It will also give us silver arrows, which are the best arrows we can get right at the start of the game. I'd save before it all plays out because I can't exactly guarantee that someone important won't die in the process, but we're just going to have to see how it goes when we get there, I guess. One thing... <laughs> wow. What I was going to say is, when I made this video, I was actually level 20 or so. I'm now level 1 which means the guards are also level 1. I 
don't know if they're gonna. Your little pussy belongs to me. The time of cleansing is almost here. I don't think I've ever heard that line. Oh, it is over for Umbra. Umbra's got no chance. Look at this. Starting to get worried that they might not be able to win this for us. Oh wow. Come on guys. I really don't want to get involved. <laughs> Four silver arrows. You know what? I'm gonna do a body count while I loot. That's how you get Umbra's armor by doing literally nothing. Our next stop is Leowin. Oh, we are so slow in that. We're not wearing that. So, we're heading over to the Emelian team. I'll cut back once I'm there, and I'll show you where it is on the map. And we're going to get the Emelian armor set. It is the best light armor you can get off the bat, but it is also the heaviest light <coughs> armor in the game by a mile. Here we are, Emelian tomb. Quickly show you guys where it is on the map. I think in this zone we've got the gauntlets, the boots, and the shield. There are some enemies in here, but we have our staff. So, the gauntlets are right in front of us here. There's going to be a little rock fall. Oh my goodness. But you don't want to go through there anyway, you just want these gauntlets. Then when you go back, turn left, there's two pathways. A rude skeleton. We're going to go down the right pathway, and to our right there's going to be a coffin. Behind it are going to be the boots. <laughs> We're then going to go back down the other path. Pull the rope. Go through here. There's nothing in this part of the cave. There's some chests up there, but I'm not too interested. I'm gonna go left through this wooden door. And in this room, in the right corner, there's a box and behind it is our shield. Here we're gonna find the body, greaves, sword and helmet. There's some skeletons in here, I'm pretty sure. So there's the body and the sword in the corner over here for the greaves and in this last bit of the cave where you would drop down to the beginning in the corner there with the wisp stalks is the helmet. Have you seen a cooler looking character? I think the silver arrows go well with it. It doesn't look great on me. We're now moving on to the last part, the bow, the best bow we can get. But before we do that, we're actually gonna visit a special horse. It's around this area. If you head for that, you should be fine. We're gonna go and find the unicorn. One important thing about the unicorn, don't have your weapon drawn when you go near it because if you do it's going to want to fight you and 
you're going to have to reload. There's our unicorn. But again, we don't want to be drawing a weapon near the unicorn. Now, I'm actually using this unicorn in a pretty tactical way. I want to use the unicorn to help me take on another boss, which has our bow. I think the unicorn is going to give us the fighting edge we need. Plus, you do kind of need this unicorn dead at some point, so two birds, one stone. Let's just see how it goes. Aaron's or Aaron's camp, however it's pronounced, is a good point because you are at the foot of Dive Rock, which is right there. I'm going to try and get to Dive Rock from the left hand side because that gives us the high ground of the boss that we're going to try and kill to get our bow. We're going to see if we can spot the boss before it spots us. Again, I came up from the left side because we get the high ground on it. Ah. Quite hard to spot, but it is there. I'm going to save. I don't think this is going to go too well. Our unicorn and skeleton dead. I'm gonna hope he can't get on top of this rock. If he can, it's probably game over. Oh no, I think we're good. I think we have a safe spot. Which, yes, does mean we led that unicorn to its death for no reason. complete set of fur armour if you want it. I don't think you need it. I mean, it is a lot lighter than the armour we have. Now, you might argue that the life of the last unicorn on Earth is worth more than 709 gold, but it tells you otherwise. How good does that look? Silver War Axe. Proper nice as well. For me, it's a brand new day, this is a completely separate recording. I've listened back to everything you guys have just watched and I'm so sorry. <laughs> My brain lagging, butchered sentences, traffic outside and the laptop fan. Mm. Laptops are bad. Okay. I was gonna delete it, but I kind of found it so funny that I've just decided I'm gonna edit around it anyway. Definitely not in my best interest to keep this and put it out there. But I did! Speaking of things that are not in my best interest, October 10th I'm recording the Merrin's Razor DLC. I put a couple rules in my last video for it. I'm going to put them on screen now. And in the spirit of things that aren't in my best interest, I'm also applying those rules to this video. <laughs> and since we've already got subs in the mix, I've decided comments on this video are going to add 20 levels. Good idea, no way I'll regret it bring on October 10th. I'm gonna close the video on just some random things now, stuff you can grab.